Hello Drive Radio fans, Richard Rush here today with Walt McLean behind the camera. And today we're going to take a look at the 2017 Mazda 6. Now the official title is 2017.5, it's kind of like a, I guess a mid-model refresh. 2018 is going to be a little bit bigger of a refresh, so there's not a whole lot that's changed. They've changed some of the standard or optional features to being standard features, but overall still a fantastic vehicle. So with that being said, Walt, let's jump right into it. You'll see the standard 19-inch wheels that come on this Grand Touring edition of it. Um, as we come around again, a nice sleek looking car. I've gotten several several compliments on how this vehicle looks, that if you actually took away that Mazda badge on the front, a lot of people wouldn't know what this is so again standard rear view key, or standard features on this on the grand touring i should say and a lot of these features are also standard on the other trim up rear view camera rear parking sensors blind spot monitoring rear cross traffic alert lane keep assist automatic high beams forward collision warning heads up display traffic sign reader a leather adaptive cruise control you get adaptive led lighting on both the front headlights and the rear tail lights I'm partly new for this year is the new G vectoring control system, which just gives you for a crisper, sharper handle. Uh, just really, this vehicle compared to the others in its class, I think is by far and away the best handling of all the vehicles um, in that class. You, know, you have Toyota Camrys, uh, the I believe Ford Fusion, so vehicles like that. You get a lot of great handling with this vehicle, in our opinion, Honda Accord, things like that. Uh, there's three different trim levels: sport. Touring, Grand Touring. Uh, as you can see inside, it's got heated seats on both front passenger or both front seats, as well as a heated steering wheel. You got paddle shifters, which is part of that Grand Touring package. You've got the Mazda infotainment system, which works really well. And we've said this many, many times, and we'll continue to say it is Audi esque. It uh, has a touch screen as well as just the rotary dial. Really easy to use, simple to operate. The Bluetooth, uh, it was not great in this vehicle. Maybe it could have been. I was using a new iPhone X. I'm not sure if that uh, contributes to it at all, but just got several uh, just statements about how it was a little bit loud at times, but nothing and nothing too worried about it in my opinion. As we see, the back seat here does fit a child car seat. You do have to move the front seat forward. I'm a five foot nine, five foot ten driver. You do have to move that seat forward just a little bit. Underneath the hood, two and a half liter, four cylinder. 184 horsepower with the six-speed automatic 2018 they're actually releasing a, a turbocharged engine so that'll be pretty exciting for us and, and, and I think for a lot of Mazda fans as we come around to the back here I'm gonna pop the trunk obviously not an automatic trunk but you open it and you do have some nice kind of coverings here it's not just your typical uh, basic trunk you actually got some nice kind of a uh, coverings of, of the uh, I guess the, the trunk lid, trunk half, that sort of thing. A 60-40 rear folding seat, 14.8 cubic feet of cargo room, which is about average for this size in my opinion. You can, a nice wide opening, you can get a good amount of stuff back here for, uh, again, a, a really a, a four-person sedan, technically a five-seater sedan overall. And again, as part of that Grand Touring, you're going to have this little kind of a chrome sort of plates back here as well as the, the rear spoiler and of course the sky active technology apologize for hopping in the, the shot there well um one a couple things to note here um this this vehicle is equipped with the gt premium package which is 2500 dollars it includes the napa leather um trimmed upholstery heated rear seats heated steering wheel heated wheel with unique stitching black headliner active grill shutters for better fuel economy, shifter LED accent lighting, bright finish interior, and the IE loop regenerative braking system. So while Mazda doesn't necessarily have a hybrid in the lineup for the Mazda 6, it's a kind of a similar system to it in, in terms of it uses the braking to regenerate and reuses some of that power. Uh, the other piece I will say is I, this is not an all-wheel drive vehicle. That is a big concern here in Colorado. However, it is a front-wheel drive vehicle. So for most Colorado drivers, you can get around just fine with it, but just something to note, they don't have all-wheel drive in it. Um, and then the last thing I will say, I guess a kind of an, uh, or a, not last thing, but let's get into the opinion. This has got the Blizzak tires on it for winter here in Colorado. Worked phenomenally. 
For those of you familiar with those, you know they add to road noise. However, I thought it was relatively quiet on the inside of this vehicle, again, outside of the Bluetooth. I thought it handled tremendously well. I thought it, all the features on it are really nice. I like what Mazda has done. Total price on this vehicle as it sits right here, $34,695. That's with all these different options on it, including the paint color that we mentioned. I really like that. Love the heads-up display. You just get a lot of features for the money with Mazda. The only, I guess, sort of complaint I would have is I'm really looking forward to that turbocharged engine because here, especially at our altitude, it seems slightly underpowered. I had to put it in sport mode in order to get the get up and go that I was looking for in the car. Now, once I did that, the car ran fantastic, ran super well. Outside of that is where I just ran into a little bit of issues. Last thing I will say, fuel economy, 27 and 35. We're for 30 average. We've actually been able to average 31 or 32, so I will say that it's tremendous in that aspect of things. Our version, or what do we think of the car? Fantastic, great buy, great buy for the money. You get a lot of features on it. Again, the best handling car in the class. So maybe you're not worried about that top end horsepower or the hybrid or the all wheel drive, but you're looking for a fun, sporty sedan. This is the vehicle for you. Because again, I really don't think it can compare to other vehicles in the segment. It just, whatever, what they've done with the Skyactiv technology and the G-vectoring control system is fantastic in the control aspect. Just wish it had a little bit more power mods the only thing that we could say, which I think we'll probably see with the turbocharged engine. So with that being said, head your local Mazda dealer, get in it, get your family in it, test drive this vehicle. And when you do that, let them know that John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you.